the unfold content widget in unlimited elements is super, super brilliant. I have three columns over here. There's quite a bit of content. I don't want to make my website too busy. So I just click and it expands down and you can click and pick what you read anytime you want. It is super, super easy to do. If I click on the button, it expands down. I click it again. It closes over here. I just have to hover, hover off, hover on. And over here, I don't have to just click on the button. I can click anywhere I want on the box to open and close it. Imagine you've got a menu list like this. Look at that. You could have breakfast, lunch, you know, um, tea time, whatever. Come on, let's do this on your website. Once you've activated unlimited elements, go over to WordPress. On the left hand side, you'll see it and click on widgets. And in the search box in the top right, type in unfold and that widget will now appear. And all you've got to do is install it. Let's go over to a test page. We've got it installed. And if we go over here and I type in unfold, it will now be visible for me. Using it is super simple and super easy. We have some example text with a title and a button. I can decide now, how do you trigger it? Do you click the button? Do you hover or do you click the box? So just to remind you, I can click anywhere on the box and it will expand, hover. You just have to hover over it and it happens. Or you have to specifically click the button. Let's leave it on click the button for now. Are we gonna have an overlay? We will come back to that later on. We can also decide on the height. So if I put this to zero, we now have no content whatsoever. And you won't see that content until you click the button or you can make it a lot bigger. So depending on the size of your content, you have full control over the height of the fold. In the content tab, this is where you can actually decide if you're going to show or hide the title. Maybe you don't need to have it all the time. Obviously, add in your text or HTML that you want into the title as well. Decide on your tag and you can also decide on the type of content. So we currently are using the editor. Whatever we put here will be displayed or you could bring through a template. So if you've gone and built one, for instance, like with a cars example or products or a pricing table, you could bring that through now as well. So the options are almost endless for what you can do here. The button tab is quite self-explanatory. Maybe you're gonna allow them to just hover to see the items or just click the box. So do you really need the button? Maybe, maybe not. You can decide on the position of the button. So currently it's inside, but I would put it at the bottom and above would put it above the content. So you don't just have to have the button like below it, okay? It's, again, it's really cool what unlimited elements have done here. Decide on the wording and you can even decide on the icons as well. So when you click it, you have a different icon appear. You can decide what you wanna have there or do you not wanna have any icons whatsoever? Now, if we go over to the style tab, this is again, very self-explanatory. You can start to align how do things sit in terms of the content and the buttons, and you can do your styling as well. Now in this style, we do also have an option for overlay as well. Now this is where you get to define what colors are appearing on the screen. Now at the moment, we have a transparent color here and there's a bit of white. You're probably gonna say, is it really white? Yes, it is, because if you can see it's overlaying onto the content. Let me make that more clear by just picking in a red. Now that's a little bit like overexpressive but I just want to get across what it does. So we have a bit of an overlay there. And when I click it, that overlay disappears as all the details expand. But that again is another way of adding in a little bit of bespoke look to your website. And also it might help you to get it to match the background of what you've got as well in your sections. The settings for this are super simple. And like I said, you don't have to use the text over here. You can insert a template. And remember all of the examples that you see on their website, if you like anything in particular, on every section, there will be a copy. Click that, use the doubly WordPress plugin, which is completely free on your website. And you can now paste it in with all of the settings intact and the images, and you can now go away and fine tune it to work for you. That is the unfold content widget from Unlimited Elements. I can't wait to see what you're gonna do with it. <laughs>